Spooky Halloween made with Korean moon pies called choco pie. And this is your ultimate Korean grave site with soju bottles and hands sticking out. Oh my God, there must be two people buried in there. It looks like a massacre with bloody cauliflower brains. Oh boy, you know it's gonna be crunchy and delicious. <laughs> what did she say? She just said, I'm a Korean female goblin and she's really ticked off that she died before she even had a chance to get married because back then, long, long time ago, getting married was your life's goal. I mean, I guess a little bit of that still exists in Korea or anywhere in the world too. But anyway, she's a little teed off that she died before she had a chance to get married, you know, and live happily ever after. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Helen and happy Halloween. So if you are interested in making edible holiday decoration, you came to the right place because one, it requires no baking because I literally suck at baking, full disclosure. And for those of you that are new to Modern Pepper, Modern Pepper channel offers Korean cooking lessons for authentic Korean dishes as well as Korean fusion dishes. So please do consider subscribing. And we will be using Korean moon pies called choco pie. Now, if you've never had choco pie, you're missing out, okay? So you should watch this anyway. And we're gonna be using these guys to make edible cemetery, like gory cemetery with blood and everything. But it's all edible. And this recipe is something that you could do with little children, little people, or you could also do with your adult children. Yes, I said adult children. <laughs> I, mean, I have to show you how delicious choco pies are. It's a legendary classic Korean snack. It's filled with marshmallows inside. So let me just do some quality control, make sure it's good. Mmm. Mmm. That's yum. I am not sponsored by anyone whatsoever. I wish I was, but I'm not. And for those of you who've never tried choco pie, make sure to check out my video on choco pie review because it comes in four different flavors. And I also share dessert hacks where you could turn these guys into really, really yummy desserts at home. So check out that video and I'll have that link in the description box below. And all the products that I'm using today, I will list the online links in the description box below as well. And if you use any of those links, I will greatly appreciate it. That means that you are supporting my channel financially. We need some edible Halloween candy decorations. And here are some zombie hands. And look at that. We have some knives. These are all edible. And some eyes and some bloody bones and some delicious skull heads yep these are delicious and we need some almond crushed pokey sticks and we need some regular pocky sticks and some chocolate sprinkle green sprinkles and a variety of gray and white toned sprinkles these are so great these look like shiny black glass or rock these are so pretty and these look like silver rocks. These are like tiny little pearls, you know? I mean, who says you can't bedazzle your grave? Why not? And we also need some red food color and red decorating gel and some brownies crumbled up to create a different texture of soil. Break up your Oreo cookies in a Ziploc bag with the mallet. And then break up the rest with your hands like that. And look at that. This again is to create a different color and texture to the cemetery ground. Yep. Using a serrated knife, I'm using a steak knife. We're gonna cut our choco pie into a shape of a tombstone. Like that. And just cut the bottom off. So it will stand upright like that. And we have to make a baby one, a baby tombstone. Daddy, mommy, and baby tombstone. And right next to the baby tombstone, I cut these two guys at a biased angle, so it looks like the tombstone is like, 
you know, sinking and tilting over. So you could do that. And I saved this last one because we're gonna turn this into a fence using the pokey sticks and we're gonna stuff it with brains. Oh, wait, just wait until you see. And here I have some chocolate Swiss roll. So in Korean, we call this castera cream pang. And cream means cream, pang means bread. Castera is just a name that we call this, the Swiss roll one. Like I promised, this does not require any baking, but if you want to bake, you can bake a cake or you could just use pound cake or any sort of sponge cake that you could find at a store. And we're gonna shape this into a shape of a Korean grave site. And Korean grave sites always have a dome of soil on top of the grave site. Now we're gonna shape our Korean grave site. So this is a bit too long, so I'm gonna cut this part off and just round out the corners like so. It doesn't have to be perfect. So we want it at this shape, kind of round, a little bit long. When you go to Korean cemeteries, it is very, 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 very common to show up with a bottle or two of soju for your loved one that you came to visit that have passed away, unless they absolutely hate soju, but it's very customary. So we can't make a Korean gravesite without making some soju bottles. So we're gonna make our Korean soju bottle using this brownie. And the center of the brownie is usually very moist. So we're just gonna hand shape it. And we're gonna make the top part of the bottle. And this is the body. So there you go, shape of a bottle. And I have another one that I made because one bottle of soju is never enough. By the way, I really feel like I should take some ibuprofen, my head is killing me. It's like a splitting headache. <laughs> okay, so last but not least, we need some chocolate. And I'm using Guitar Semi-Sweet Chocolate, and these are perfect for melting. Now, you could of course just use your, you know, Hershey's, any chocolate bar to melt, but these are really, really yummy. I mean, if you could get your hands on Guitar Semi-Dark Chocolate, I mean, this is the way to go. Mm. Again, quality control, excellent. Mmm, so creamy. Fill your medium-sized pot about halfway with water. Turn your heat to high. Our water's boiling. We're gonna turn the heat down to medium-low. Put a glass bowl that's heat-proof on top like so. We're gonna pour our guitar chocolate in here. We're just gonna let this melt slowly on low medium heat. Look at that, it's been only a couple minutes and the chocolate's melting really nicely. It's almost done melting. Once you don't see any lumps, then it's ready. All right, this looks all done. I'm letting the melted chocolate rest on top of the pot to keep our chocolate so it doesn't harden so quickly. And now we're gonna take our choco pie tombstones and start decorating. This is the fun part. You could just coat the very front and take off the excess. And this guy, we're just gonna do the tip only just to make it a little different. And we're gonna dip it in our sprinkles, like that on top. We're gonna put our bow up here, put our eyes. And maybe this one will add a little bit of green on the bottom. Pretty cute. So to make our cemetery platter, I'm using a baking sheet. You could also use a tray and you know, when you make this at home, you can make it smaller than what I'm making or definitely a lot bigger. And we also need a baking sheet. Cut the excess off. We're gonna pour most of our chocolate on our baking sheet right here. We're gonna save a little bit of it to pour on top of our Korean grave site. And using an icing spreader, we're just gonna spread this evenly. I'm using about 16 ounces of chocolate, but you could use more or less, depending on the size of your display that you're making. And take our almond pokey sticks and just stick it. And just maybe one more. There's some chocolate. Cement 
table here that they always have at every Korean grave site. And we're going to be using some cauliflower to turn it into bloody brain. And here's our red food coloring. And with your gloves on, just mix it. Oh, these look kind of bloody. So alternatively, you could take some gochujang, that's Korean red pepper paste, and just slather it on like that. This looks pretty bloody too. And of course, we have to taste it. Mm. Mm. That's good. Cauliflower with gochujang, pretty tasty. Almost zero calories. Mm. Really yummy. All right, time to place our brains and put the ends of our choco pies around. We're gonna place our tombstone. And here's our little baby tombstone right here. Now we're gonna sprinkle our Oreo cookies, crumbled all around. And of course our brownies too. You gotta make sure the ground looks real. And our pokey sticks that we'll be using to make a fence. And add more in the back right here. And look at that, our fence is done. All right, I think our tombstone needs a little bit of hand sticking out. Oh boy. Two people are buried in this grave. Then we need a knife and we need an ax. And let's make the tombstones a little bloody here. And a little more blood right here. And just a little bit of blood on our fences. And notice how this fence is falling down. So take a piece of brownie crumble, use it to hold it upright or sort of at an angle. Now, because we have a layer of chocolate, oh, this is just like hair everywhere. It's tough being a kitchen. Anyway, so you need a mallet and a butter knife or some sort of gadget to break the hardened chocolate that's on the bottom. There we go. So look at that. You have a layer of hardened chocolate with Oreo cookies and brownie crumble and your choco pie that's made of cake and marshmallow in the middle and bedazzled with sparkles. It's a pretty tasty Halloween treat, I say. Now it's time to eat my tombstone. Mm. Mm. So the word kishin is referred to as female ghosts, usually wearing white hanbok, and I literally could not find any hanbok in the Bay Area. So I'm using a bed sheet to mimic that. <laughs> I mean, you gotta make do with what you have. When I was little, I used to watch this show called Chonsore Goyang, and in that, there was this like really, really iconic, scary Chonyo kishin. And she was just like, I don't know, terrified me. And I remember as a kid watching that show with the blanket over my head, sitting behind my grandma and peeking through behind her back and then being scared, but absolutely loving it. Oh my God, it was so scary. So 여러분, 어렸을 때 전설의 고향 재밌게 보셨으면 꼭 comment box에다 message 남겨주세요. So I just said, if you grew up watching Tansori Goyang and enjoyed being terrified like myself, make sure to drop me a line or two in the comment box. So. I want to thank everyone for watching. And for those of you that have not subscribed to my channel, make sure to click on that subscribe button so we could make Korean food together. And make sure to click on that notification bell so you will be notified when I upload my next video. And lastly, I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it if you would click on that thumbs up icon. So I also have another Halloween treat recipe that you should check out. I use Korean rice cakes called duck into bloody but sweet candles. And I also make bloody brain chips using uncooked ramen noodles. So make sure to check out that video, which is coming up next. So I will see you in the next video. Make sure to subscribe and click on that like button. Waddle waddle.